today. Before we get into the judge gameplay, I want to share my thoughts on these two units, talk about whether or not you should summon, and that's because I recorded my summons and then deleted it before uploading it because I'm a genius that way. And I'll keep this as brief as possible just because I want to go back to uh, keeping up with the situation in Ukraine. Of course, it's uh, terrible what's happening there. The people are suffering. The people in Russia don't want this. Uh, the people around the world don't want this. But it's terrible and I really ha have no idea how to express the way I feel about the situation. But uh, I do want to you know, stay up to date and, and I hope things work out for the Ukrainian people. And um, that something bad happens the person at the top of russia let's let's keep it that let's keep it that that all right so uh summary of my summons i did spend 150 gems and um i got uh judge and uh green kid which was pretty cool because my green kid was only level 90 so now he's 95 i also bought the 50 dollar ticket and i got a soba mask and monster chopper so that's really cool because i didn't have monster chopper before now uh should you summon i would say no and the reason why is because these units are not necessarily beginner friendly so yeah i got judge to five star of course if you guys saw my post earlier today at 2200 frags now i have 1800 that's because i gave judge 400 frags and now i'm going to do gameplay but after the gameplay check the timestamps i'll do my review on soba mask and judge and explain why i don't think most people should summon but overall my thoughts is that they're good units but not for everyone all right so Enjoy the gameplay, and then if you want to hear my thoughts on the unit, it's going to be at the end of the video.
ねじ伏せろピンクホーネットとんだ邪魔だてを
talk about Soba Mask first just because I'm gonna do gameplay on Judge so uh, for Soba Mask from what I've seen he's actually pretty cool but the problem is for new players you really need to understand the way runners play and I don't think that a new player should uh, jump straight into using Soba Mask so if you're like a few months old into the game just skip this banner I think it's what's best because Soba Mask is really good once you really understand when to go into stealth mode and how to use this character but more importantly you really need a good skill one set I would say and also a Warlord's tag which is very expensive uh, to have a 600 Warlord especially even if you're older so yeah and um, when you're invisible you're very nice and uh, you stay in it for 10 seconds with a Warlord that increases of course so you can constantly stay invisible which is nice the skill having a knockback is very very good as well um, you also have this defensive shield which can help you tank a bit and also stagger the opponents that attack you which can help you run away and stuff and disengage but also after your skill 2 you get the stagger effect which allows you to fight better which is very very nice um, you have some capture speed of course and um, uh, once you finish capture you of course are not invisible anymore but if you have your skill one set and you have like uh, medals that allow you to get your skill one when you capture a flag you can go back to invisibility instantly which is very nice of course uh, when you capture you get back your shield and your skill one faster of course that's like you see you see the build up which is go invisible capture a flag go invisible capture a flag it's very nice also if you perfect dodge you also go invisible which will allow you to fight but more importantly you run to another flag and uh, stay hidden which is very nice and of course um when you're losing you get your skill one faster which allows you to go invisible and allow you to go back for the win all in all i think sanji is a very very solid unit the fact that he doesn't have heals is the one thing that holds him back uh but i think you know that 
uh, once you look at the good stuff that Sanji has, he's very good to establish accounts that already have warlords. You know, people that are top uh, golden week players uh, probably can uh, benefit from him and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about uh, Judge. Judge is the one I've used and I think Judge is a very, very strong unit. The fact that his skill here uh, stays for a while, 20 seconds, you get the Raiju uh, just constantly spamming and you can keep it at pretty decent range and the opponents might not see it and it removes their attack buffs which is beautiful. Uh, this skill also will nullify shock, will nullify shock, will shock and if they have nullify shock it will deal more damage. It also has a knockback which is great on defenders of course. Um, also, in your first hit of a normal, you have 10% chance to shock. In your second hit, you have a 15% chance to shock. And on your third hit of the normal, you knock back enemies, which is very nice. He doesn't have knock back heals, but still very, very good. Also, after you use your skill 2, uh, you have this like thing like uh, Queen that allows you to, uh, stagger, to have uh, uh, stagger basically, which means that you can fight as you get hit kind of thing, and it's very good. Like, when people have this, they feel much, much better to play, right? Sanji has this, of course. Uh, he has also damage reduction in his area, and 50% uh, or more HP, you get another 30%, so that's 60% DR. It's not too bad, but not, it's not fantastic either. Uh, also, when you attack an enemy with your skill 1, which is Reiju, again, like I said, uh, you remove their attack buffs, but you also increase their skill uh, by 15, which means they can't instantly cast it, or if they have a long skill, they have to wait in even longer and finally when you get knocked back you heal which is very very good and you get an attack buff which allows you to deal more damage all in all i think they're very solid units but if you're newer to the game i would recommend skipping just because they're more um advanced and they're still not too broken i would say right i'm sure that uh, when you see gameplay of sanji you might go like oh my god he's so good but remember gameplay is always cherry picked and uh, there's going to be some bad games, some good games. There are much uh, more basic runners and uh, defenders that you can go over and have a good time with. So my personal opinion is to skip, especially because their tags aren't the best, right? You only get a new world defender for him. And maybe they will add the German 66 effect later on. But you can obviously assume that it's not going to be easy to max out. And here again, Strat Pirates New World German is not bad um, for greens. Because greens is not the best. But this is not very important really. So... All in all, I'd recommend skipping. They have decent medals for themselves, but that's pretty much it. And it's not that great overall. And 